Hey gang, how are we doing tonight? So I'm going to show you my no cheese chocolate recipe. So I'm actually going to be making a batch of them uh, to last us for a few days so I can make some sandwiches for work. And I just thought I would share this recipe with you. So this is just me perusing the internet and Pinterest and I found this recipe. So um, it turned out really well. I really like it for sandwiches. It's nice and squishy. Again, it's using um, coconut flour instead of almond flour. So it fits into our clean keto uh, eating that we're doing right now. And there's no cheese. All right, come on, let's go check it out. Okay, so I have a couple of different things going on. Uh, one is we are preheating our regular waffle maker. I wanted to show you what it was like to use a regular size one instead of the mini ones because you don't have to have a mini waffle maker to make truffles. Um, it takes a while if you're doing more than just one batch. So when I'm doing them like this, I actually got this one on clearance and it works really great. The other thing I'm gonna do is I wanna show you what it looks like. This is a griddle. So it's like the little mini waffle iron, but it's actually a griddle. So it makes it like little buns. So it's just kind of fun. Uh, so I want to show you that. And the ingredients we're going to use today for this, it's really, really simple. I have to tell you, it is six eggs. So I have six eggs in my bowl here, a third of a cup of mayonnaise. It will be a half a teaspoon of baking powder and then two tablespoons of coconut flour. So again, we're not using any nut flours uh, in them and we're not using any cheese. So this makes it okay for what we're doing today. I'm also gonna be adding some seasoning. So I have a little bit of um, garlic powder because I like that. We're gonna put a little onion powder in there, some salt and pepper, and then also a little bit of Italian seasoning. And that's gonna be it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this mixed up and then I'll show you how we're gonna play this. Once you have beaten your eggs so that they're well combined, you're gonna go ahead and add your mayonnaise. Now this is six tablespoons or three ounces of mayonnaise. And then you're gonna go ahead and whisk that together until it's combined. You can see that I have that well mixed together. So that is the mayonnaise and the egg. The next thing we're gonna do is put in a half a teaspoon of baking powder, no, yes, baking powder. Make sure you don't put baking soda, it's baking powder. I believe this is what gives it a little bit of a rise. Um, I don't know, and I can't tell you where I found this recipe because again, I was just kind of perusing, uh, looking for some different chaffle recipes. I ran across this one and realized um, as I was doing this 30 day challenge that it was perfect for this, again, because there's no nut flours and there's no cheese. So the next thing I'm gonna go ahead and add is two uh, tablespoons of uh, coconut flour. Now this is very absorbent. So let's say you don't have any coconut flour in the house and you wanna add almond flour, you might need to do four tablespoons because it's not as absorbent as the coconut flour. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that combined. Again, you just want to combine all of your um, ingredients here, uh, the egg, the mayonnaise, the baking powder, and the coconut flour, just until it's really well incorporated. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my seasonings. So I don't really measure per se. Um, I'm just gonna throw a little bit of salt because remember this really has no flavor. That was probably a little bit extra <laughs> salt, um, but maybe about a teaspoon of salt in there. Um, and then I'm gonna throw in uh, some cracked black pepper, that's probably about a half a teaspoon. I just kind of eyeball it. A little bit of onion powder. Again, I'm just trying to throw a little bit of extra flavor um, into these truffles because they don't have a lot of flavor on their own. Just letting you know. Um, like to sit down and just eat one to eat one, not my favorite thing, I'm <laughs> just being honest. But when you make it as a sandwich, um, this is just that Italian seasoning I'm gonna put in um, when you use it as a sandwich, it just, it just makes it, I don't know, maybe because I haven't had bread in so long, it makes me very excited that I can make an actual sandwich um, with bread to hold it together, or even like a hamburger, or um, I've used this to make grilled cheese. I mean, some of those things, you don't realize how much you miss it until you have something uh, similar. And this is so easy. You don't have to bake it. There's not a lot of ingredients. To me, I have almond flour in my house. Oh, I have coconut flour. Well, I have coconut flour and I have almond flour because as a keto person, these are the baking, or not the baking, but these are the coating flours that I use. All right, guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and whisk this together and then we're going to get ready to start putting them on the waffle iron. 
All right, we're ready to put our batter in. So guys, um, I am gonna spray these with a little bit of coconut spray. The last time I made them, they did stick a little bit. So just a brief little spritz. Um, I don't know if it's just because of the fat content, it isn't quite as much in this one because it's just the mayonnaise and not cheese. Okay, so this is really easy. I'm taking my little gravy boat spoon that we've had forever. I'm gonna go with my batter and I'm just very carefully going to fill my little um, spots here. Be careful you don't overfill it. I don't really have a problem with my regular waffle maker, but when I use my mini, um, I have overfilled it before and it just makes kind of a mess. This one again is not quite as bad. You can be a little bit more generous because it has those nice little wells. The other thing I like to do so you don't have the hole. So let's say you want to put some mayonnaise or some condiments um, on your sandwich. You want to make an egg sandwich and you don't want your egg to be smooshing through. Go ahead and put just a little bit more egg mixture on top. Kind of just take your spoon over it and that will just fill those little holes. Again, just be careful you don't overdo it so that it doesn't make a mess. All right, and there we go. So that's our big waffle maker. So we're gonna go ahead and do this and we're gonna time these for about five minutes and then I'll check on them. Now, again, over here to our little griddle. So it's much smaller. So it, of course, isn't gonna take as much batter. So I start in the middle and I just pour a little bit in there. You can hear it sizzle. So you can see we have a little bit more room. So we're gonna go ahead and take another spoonful. And again, just very slowly, Till it goes around. There we go. Ta-da! All right, we're going to close that. Okay, guys, so we're going to count down for five minutes, and then I will show you what they look like. Okay, so Sophie's excited. She's whining over here. So it's been five minutes, and I just want to show you. So this is the one. Here, my little tongs. So this is our regular waffle iron. You can see it's nice and brown. That looks beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that off. Put that on my plate over here and then I'll close this again just so it stays warm. Now I'm going to go in for my griddle. Now this one, I don't think, it doesn't get quite as hot um, as the regular one. So I'm actually going to flip it over and I'm going to let it go for a couple more minutes. You can see the bottom part, it got nice and brown. So again, we're just going to kind of let it go. I'd say probably another minute and then I'll check on that. All right, so... It's been another two minutes. Oh, you can see it all got shrunk up a lot. I'm going to go ahead and pull this one. Maybe if I can get it off of there. Good grief. Okay, so it didn't brown up as well, but it is definitely done. So that's what our little one looks like. So again, that's just fun for sandwiches. So what I do uh, with our big one, I simply cut it into fours. Okay, so it just, or I can break it apart. And ta-da, I have a sandwich. Yay! Now, the other good thing about these, because they don't have any cheese in them, is that you can put them in the toaster. Um, but be careful. Don't do it for very long. I got distracted at work. I left it in for about a minute, and I could start to smell it. But <laughs> if you put it in, it's not going to get super crispy like toast. Um, but it does uh, do a pretty good job of at least warming it up, and it just tastes a bit more like toasted bread. All right, guys. So I hope you will try this truffle recipe. Don't be afraid. If you don't know what a truffle is, I think the original recipe or why they called it a truffle was because it was egg and cheese. So it's like a cheesy waffle. Well, there have been many variations. People are getting very creative. Um, they make dessert ones, they make savory ones. There's so many different ones. Um, this is just a very basic recipe I wanted to share with you and I hope you enjoy it. All right, guys, take good care. Thanks again for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button below, please do so. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you and leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you'd like me to make. Good luck with your 30 day challenge. I hope the new year is treating you right and I will see you the next time. Bye guys. Peace out.